What's up? Today we have a full body dumbbell only workout that's going to help you lose fat, build muscle, and look and feel your best. This is going to be a follow along workout. You can do this anywhere as long as you have a pair of dumbbells. I'm going to be walking through everything, talking through your form, hyping you up as we go. Going to have proper rest time. Going to do a warm up. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. And I'm extremely grateful that you are here. First things first, before we get into the workout, if you are liking these workouts and you want more of these workouts and you want to see them on a regular basis, on a weekly basis, go ahead and hit subscribe to my channel and then go ahead and like the video. I'm going to be posting a lot more content that's going to help you lose fat, build muscle, and do so in a realistic way. And if you're ready for more advanced coaching and you want to make even more progress with your fitness goals, I highly recommend checking out my fitness coaching program. Realistic Gains. It's a group coaching program. I have many other coaches within the group. I have two other coaches within the group, including myself. We're going to help you and coach you through how to make progress, losing fat, building muscle, and doing it again in a realistic way. There's going to be semi-customized workouts, customized nutrition goals, check-ins each week, and an amazing Facebook community that is there to hype you up, support you. We also have challenges and prize giveaways two times a month, and we're here at any time to help you make even more progress with your goals. These workouts are a great start, but if you want more structure and guidance with your goals, highly recommend checking that out. It's only $39 per month for full coaching, a full amazing community, www.realisticgains.com. Check it out. With that being said, it's time for today's workout. Let's get it. All right, first things first, we're gonna do a warm up. So we're just gonna do one round of this, one round of the warm up, just to get ready, just to get going. It's gonna be a little bit higher rep since we're only doing one round. So here's what we're gonna do. The first thing, you're gonna go a set of squats. We're gonna go just body weight squats, 10 to 12 reps. Here we go. One, two, we'll go for all 12 reps. Here, we'll go for all 12 reps. That's four, five, Six. Think about sitting back into these, driving them through your heels. Seven. Eight. Sitting back into it, like you're sitting onto a chair. Nine. Ten. Two more. Let's get 12. 11. 12. All right, we're going to do one more leg warm up right now. We're going to do one leg RDLs. So you're going to want to hold on to something, and whatever leg that is on the ground is gonna be staying on the ground, that opposite hand will be holding on to something. So right leg for me is on the ground right now. I'm gonna go right leg first. We're gonna to wanna to be feeling this in your hamstring and glutes. Gonna get to this area warmed up and also warm up your lower back a little bit as well so you're not super tight when you're doing these different exercises. So hold on to something, left hand is holding on to something, left leg is back. You're gonna be pushing your hips back, slowly lowering to right here and then driving back up through your heels. You want your glutes, hamstrings to be working. We're gonna go 10 each side. One, two, little slight bend in the knee at first, and then keep it bent at that same position. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right, now we're gonna go the other leg. I'll move this over here so you can see a little bit better. So now, you go left leg, right hand is down. We're gonna do this exercise with weight as well later in the workout, so it helps to get the form down right now. So, right hand is down, right leg is back, left leg is the one we're using. Here we go. One, two, I feel like I'm gonna kick, kick the table behind me. <laughs> Four, five, halfway, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right, lower body warm up is done. Now we're gonna do is upper body warm up. So we're gonna go forward arm circles, ten reps right here. It's gonna warm up your shoulders, warm up your upper body. We'll go twelve reps. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then we're gonna go reverse now for twelve reps. So one. Two, three, four, five, ooh, I'm cracking. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and the last warm up we're gonna do before we start the actual workout, 
we're gonna go these body weight one arm tricep extensions. So again, just wanna warm up the elbows, warm up the triceps a little bit. We're gonna go 10 reps each side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then the other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's get a little water real quick and then we're gonna get started with the workout. The workout's gonna be quicker paced. I'm gonna give rest times between the exercises, but it's gonna be a little bit quicker paced than normal. We're gonna get through it in around 20, 25 minutes or so, somewhere around there, but excited to do it. Whew, all right. The first exercise we're gonna do is dumbbell goblet squats. So, you're gonna grab your dumbbell. You're gonna hold it as so, like you're holding like a cup in front of you and palming it like this, and you're just gonna squat back down. So, we're gonna go two sets of 10 reps. Whew, let's get it started. Here we go. One, two, three. Drive through the heels, four, five, Six, think about sitting back into it. Seven, be slow and controlled. Eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right, we're gonna go two sets of that. One more set. Whew. I'm leaving to go to LA tomorrow. I'm currently in Florida. When I post this, I'll be in LA. When this video is posted, I'll be in LA. I used to live in LA for about two and a half years and I've only been back one time since I moved away from LA around two and a half years ago now, two years ago now. So super excited to visit friends, drive around, see all the areas I used to go to. I'm probably gonna explore some other new areas too, but I'm super excited about it. All right, second set of squats. Let's go. 10 reps, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice how slow and controlled I'm going. You're gonna be feeling this in your quads and your glutes. That's eight, nine, ten. Alrighty. All right, the next exercise that we're gonna do is going to be standing shoulder press. So standing shoulder press, we're gonna go two sets of 10 reps again right there. Let's get a little bit of water and then we're gonna get right into it pretty quickly. The great thing about full body workouts is that you're working, you're alternating between an upper body exercise and a lower body exercise. So you don't need to take as much rest time because it's working different muscle groups. Normally you wanna take rest time when you're lifting so you can let that muscle group get a chance to kind of refresh, recharge and have enough energy to do the next set. For this, you don't have to do that as much. So we get both pairs of dumbbells. And it's gonna be standing dumbbell shoulder press. So lift it up to right here. Probably a little bit lighter dumbbells. If you have a pair, it's a little bit lighter. And here we go. You're gonna press directly above your head, not out in front of you, directly above your head for 10 reps. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Whew. All right. When you're doing those two, you want to think about keeping your core tight and your glutes tight. So flex your glutes when you're doing them, and then keep your core tight, almost like you're going to get punched in the stomach. You know, hopefully no one's got punched in the stomach too many times. But if you're about to get punched in the stomach, you want to think about bracing your core, not like flexing it as hard as possible so that your abs are popping, but brace it so that you can take the blow of getting punched. That's kind of how you want to think about keeping your core tight when you do different lifting exercises. So that's what you want to think about when you're doing shoulder press, staying in shoulder press. Core tight, like you're about to get punched, glutes squeezed and flexed. It's going to help you keep your uh, body more upright so it's not as much pressure on your lower back. You're not leaning all the way backwards like that. It's going to allow you to stay upright when you're doing them. Whew. All right, second set. Let's get it. Second set of 10 reps. Again, it's going to be a little quicker pace this time. Here we go. 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10. Whew. All righty. Get a little water, and then we're gonna do an, a lower body exercise. Now, I'm gonna drop the water. Lower body exercise now. So, we're gonna do one leg RDL. So, we did the warm up just with body weight. We're gonna add a weight. So, the hand that is not holding on to something, you wanna have the weight in that hand, and then we're going to do the RDLs doing that. Whew. All right, we'll jump right into it. We'll jump right into it. Why not? <clears throat> All right, so, hand that is down. That's the leg that goes back, and then the hand that is out, the, the leg that is working, that's the hand you want to have the dumbbell in. So, let's get it. You want to feel this in your hamstrings and your glutes. Ten reps each leg, two sets of that. Just down right below your knees, drive right back up through your heels. That's one. Two. Slight bend in the knees. Three. Pushing the hips back, driving them back up. Hips back, pushing the hips through. That's six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Now, opposite leg. Again, the hand that is down, that's the leg that goes back. The hand that has the weight, that's the leg that is working. Here we go. Ten reps. One, two. I'm definitely kicking the table. Three, four. Five, six, seven, whoo, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Those are tough. My glutes and hamstrings are feeling that. But yeah, I'm going out to LA tomorrow. I leave at 7:50 in the morning. The great thing about going to LA is that you leave the East Coast. And it's like a five, six hour flight out there. So I'm leaving at 7.50 East Coast time and I get out to LA at 10.45. So I'm only like losing three hours, but then the, the worst part is when you're coming back home. So I, I come back out next Monday and I'm leaving at, I think like eight in the morning and I get back out uh, to Florida at like 4.30 or 5 p.m. So it's literally the whole day of like traveling because I'm losing those three hours when I do it. But on the way out there, it's great. I'm super excited about that. I'm waking up tomorrow before my flight to work out though at like 5, so that's like 2 a.m. LA time. Comes with the territory of traveling. Alright, one leg RDLs, second set, let's get it. Using the right leg, 10 reps, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg now. All right. One other tip that helps is if you keep the weight close to your body when you're going down. That helps you put more tension on your hamstring and glutes, which is what we want, and not as much pressure on your lower back. I just noticed that just now that I was starting to do that, and the weight was getting a little bit away from me, and it's a little, a little trickier. Uh, so yeah, let's try that this time. Make sure we do that this time. Here we go. Left leg, 10 reps. Last one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, Woo let's go. About a third of the way through the workout. We're gonna get a little bit of water and then we're gonna go into an upper body exercise. The next one we're gonna do is one arm dumbbell rows. So working back with that one. Workout's gonna be super balanced. We're basically trying to hit all muscle groups one, with one at least one exercise throughout the whole workout. Whew. I'm also getting a haircut today. I'm extremely, extremely excited about that. I've been starting, and when I say haircut, I'm not getting a ton of hair cut off the top, like at all. It's mostly just getting this like faded up and like beard done up nice and everything. It's a nice feeling. And it's a time for me to edit my videos as well. I've been going like once every like 10-ish days. And like the nature of what I do, doing a lot of like my business is all online and then I'm making like social media content on a regular basis. So I'm like not always actively getting out of the house. So it's a nice time for me to get, get out of the house, especially during the week. Whew, all right, 
One arm dumbbell row. So we'll start with the left side. Basically what you want to do, we're starting with the left hand, you want your left leg to go back. You're going to be holding the dumbbell right here and think about driving your elbows back. You want to be feeling it in like this bottom part of your back and also like middle upper back. So right there, think about holding it for a half second each rep and then slowly lower it. Drive your elbow past the trunk of your body like this. We're going to go 10 reps each side, minimal rest between. Let's get it. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, 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 not right leg, right arm, right foot, left stomp, left foot, left stomp, freeze. Everybody, clap your hands. All right, right side. 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing again. <laughs> we're doing two sets. We'll go minimal rest with these just because you get a little break between each side when you do the opposite side. So we'll go ahead and go again. Left arm, let's get it. 10 reps, drop the elbow back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, other arm, and then we're halfway done with the workout. Let's go. Right arm, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Woo, 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 woo. Halfway done with the workout. We'll get a little water, a little water break here. Whew. Also this shirt, I don't know how I feel about it yet. I don't know if the color looks that great on me. It doesn't like pop. I'm so pale, but I feel like anything that's like a lighter color or like light-ish close to my skin color, especially with me being super pale, like just, I don't know if it pops very well. And also I don't know how I like how it fits too well either. Like I feel like it's like a little, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I got a Target last week, week and a half ago. Don't go on Target without a game plan. I always tell people don't go to the gym without a plan or don't uh, go grocery shopping without a plan or don't go out to eat without a plan if you actually want to stay on track with your fitness goals. If you are looking out for yourself in a monetary way, if you're looking out for your wallet, do not go to Target without a plan. I got bamboozled into buying clothes home goods and groceries all in one trip. They get you, they get you. All right, we're doing another leg exercise. Here we go, we're gonna go reverse lunges. You're gonna be holding onto a dumbbell or go body weight. We're gonna go two sets of six to eight reps. So again, I would hold on to something just to help you with your balance a little bit and to feel it more and be more in control. You're gonna hold on to something. The leg that is gonna be working is the leg that you want to be holding the dumbbell with, I believe. Let me, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to be using our right leg first. It doesn't really matter. I guess we could go like this. It's probably a little more comfortable. Yeah, why don't we do that? All right, so here's how we're going to be set up if you're using one leg. You can go two dumbbells in each hand, but if you're using, uh, if you're going to be holding on to something to have a little bit more balance, which you will. So basically, the leg that's going back, that's the arm you want to be holding the dumbbell in. You want to put your hand that the leg that you are using is gonna be the same hand, same side, it's gonna be holding on to something. So we're using our right leg right now, that's gonna be what's driving the weight, moving the weight. You wanna be feeling your glutes, a little bit of quads, a little bit of hamstrings, holding on to something. This leg goes back and driving it back up. So we're gonna go six, we'll go six reps each side. If you wanna push a little bit more, do eight reps each side, that's great. We're gonna go two sets back to back. Let's get it. One. Two. 
Three, you want to think about driving through your heels when you're doing this. Don't let it go to the front of your body like that. That's four, five, six. All right, other side now. You're going to be using your left leg. Left hand is going to be holding on to something. Right leg goes back. Right hand is holding on to the dumbbell. Here we go. Six reps. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Woo, take a little mini break. Not really, though. We'll just keep it finger on. While we're switching hands, we can rest a little bit. Rest a little bit. All right. Right leg, it's gonna be second set for each leg. Six reps, each leg. Let's get it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, one more on the right leg. Six, woo, 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 woo. Those are tough. We need a water break after this. We're almost there. Almost to a water break. Let's get it. Left leg working now. Right leg back. Let's go. Whew. That's three. Okay. Four. Five. Six. Woo. Let's go. We're gonna be using two dumbbells after we get a little break right now. Next thing we're gonna do, we're almost done. All we have left is three quick supersets. We're gonna get through these pretty quickly and then we're gonna be done. I'm proud of you. We're almost, we're almost wrapping it up. Someone asked me yesterday, they said, what are you the most bad at? And I thought about it for a second. I was like, well, probably a lot. Uh, and then I was like, I'm the most un unmusically inclined person. I am not musically inclined whatsoever. Like, I feel like I have like a little bit of rhythm, but I really only have like one go-to like dance move. It's like a little like hand motion thing and no matter, I, I have rhythm, but only with this one dance move. Like I can do a few things, but, but not really. I don't know how to play an instrument. I can't sing, I can talk. I can talk out loud. Like I can talk a song. If I know the words to a song, I'll like really get into it and like maybe like raise my voice, like talk a little louder when I'm singing it. But I'm not musically inclined. What are you bad at? Let me know, let me know what you're bad at. And if you say lifting, I'm happy you're here. <laughs> no, you're gonna keep getting better at lifting. All right, this next superset is gonna be upper body. What we're gonna do is gonna be dumbbell curls for eight reps and then incline push ups for 10 reps. So, eight reps each arm for the dumbbell curls, incline push ups. The curls are gonna be working your biceps, the incline push ups are gonna be working your chest, a little bit of triceps. Whew, two rounds of that. Let's get it. All right, one. We're gonna go eight reps each side with the curls. One and one. Two, two. Think about keeping your elbows tucked close to your body when you're doing these. That's three each side. Elbows close to the body. Four. And then also think about driving your pinky up to your shoulder. It's gonna help you squeeze your bicep a little bit more. Each rep you do, that's five. Be slow and controlled when you're doing them as well. You don't wanna be in a rush. We wanna make sure we're feeling our biceps working. That's six. Seven, here's the last one. Whew. And that's eight. All right, now we're gonna go incline push-ups. So, right here, you can also do wall push-ups. Wall push-ups against any kind of wall, like this, are gonna be easier to do. Incline push-ups gonna be kind of like a moderate challenging amount, and then if you do flat push-ups, that's gonna be most challenging, so it just kind of depends on where, where you're at uh, with your strength. But we'll do incline push-ups for 10 reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. All right, 
take a little mini break here. And I like only feel like 10 seconds, then we'll get back into the curls. For the curls. The push-ups too, one thing that I see a lot of people do is they have their elbows like crazy flared when they're doing them. One thing you wanna do is kind of tuck them in a little bit. They don't wanna be, you don't need to be like all the way tucked like this. Like 45 degrees around here is great. But all the way up here puts a lot of pressure on your shoulders and it doesn't work your actual chest and your triceps as much as you could and should when you're doing them. So it's gonna keep you injury free, work your body better and more. So let's get into the curls. Last set of these. Here we go, last super set. Curls and incline push-ups. Here we go. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Five. Five. Six. Here we go. Six. Seven. Seven, eight, eight. All right, done with the curls. Let's go, baby. Now we're gonna go incline push-ups again. Ten reps. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, okay, okay, okay. One more superset of upper body, one more superset of lower body, and then we're getting up out of here. We're getting up out of here. A little water break. Next one we're gonna do, so we're gonna superset side raises for 10 reps, and then we're gonna do one arm overhead tricep extension. So kind of like that warm up we did, we're just gonna go eight reps of each. So 10, eight, eight, 10, 8, 8, and then we're uh, done with upper body. Then we got one more quick lower body core superset, and then we're done. Let's get it. Try to knock these out. Get on with the day. Get on with the day. Your boy's got a couple calls and a haircut to do. And then more work when I get back home after that. Let's go. 10 reps. Here we go. Side raises. One, two, three, four. Five, halfway, six, seven, eight, nine, here we go, one more, ten, all right, tricep extensions now, extensions, whew, we're gonna be feeling it right here on your triceps, here we go, eight of these, one, two, three, Four, five, I'm sweating. Six, seven, eight, okay. Other side now, eight reps on the other arm. Halfway done with the last upper body superset. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let's go. All right, side raises again. We'll just get right into it. What you wanna think about here is driving your hands to the opposite corners of the room when you're doing these. And you wanna think about driving and like leading up with your elbows first, but driving your hands to the corners of the room. So here we go. 10 reps, done with these. One, two, three, four, I'm sweating, five, Six, seven, eight. Woo, this will work out for you. Boy, two, nine, ten. Woo, triceps now. Here we go, eight reps. One, two, three. We got someone honking outside. I think they're cheering for us. That's four, five, six, Seven, eight, let's go, last arm. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. We'll go a little slow and control for the last few. Six, seven, 
Hey, let's go. Done with the upper body portion. Now, all we have left, we're gonna superset. We're gonna, sorry, I need to catch my breath. I need a little water real quick. But we're gonna superset flat uh, glute bridges, dumbbell glute bridges. So laying on the ground, we're gonna be working the glutes. And then we're gonna superset that with reverse crunches. It's, kind of, it's not a full reverse crunch, you're like driving your legs back, but it's more like a knee in. So working uh, kind of like the lower abs, even though you can't like super directly target, but working kind of like that lower core part, uh, middle of your abs right there. Uh, and you're working the glutes. And then we're done. Just two quick rounds of that. Wow, your boy is sweating. Sweating. Get this chair out the way. I like these barn doors in my apartment. I have a, I have a one bedroom, a studio, it's a, they sell me like it's a one bedroom, it's a studio, it's a studio apartment, it gets the job done though, alright, I like it, it's homey for me, wouldn't be homey for many other people, alright, here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna go, dumbbell, glute, bridges, so right here, just like that. We're gonna go 10 reps of those, and then we'll go to the knee ends. We're gonna go two quick rounds of this, and we'll be done. Let's go. Drive up through the heels, squeeze into the top for a half second so you can see your glutes working. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right, now these knee ends right here. So basically, what you're gonna do? Think about driving your legs back to here, and slowly lowering them back out. All right, here we go. Ten reps of those. One more round total, and we're done. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, new bridges, last superset of the day, baby. Let's go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. <sighs> Don't do the loop bridges now. The knee. Here we go. One, two, ten of these, and we're done. Three, four, five, six. Wow. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, woo -hoo! Let's go. <sighs> All right, great, great work. I'm sweating. I've, this is the most I've sweat during one of these follow along workouts that I've made and done myself. I don't know what it is. The full body, like I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you're working your whole entire body, working each muscle group, it's a higher intense workout. You're working your whole body. You're gonna burn a little bit more calories. Maybe a full leg workout might burn a little bit more, but purpose of lifting is not solely to burn calories, but it's a nice little added benefit when you're doing this. Whew. Congrats on finishing. Much love. Thank you for being here again. Please like the video, comment, subscribe to the page, share this with a friend. It helps out a lot. Much love. Talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day.